Misha, we're at the Keysight 5G Tech Connect and we've just heard you paint a really fascinating vision of the future that 5G will bring. Could you tell us a little bit about the key performance indicators? So in terms of the uh, key performance indicators, 5G will actually continue the trend we've seen as we went from 3G to 4G as well as we went from 2G to 3G. So it is all about an uh, increase of uh, you know, the data rate by an order or two orders of magnitude. So we went from kilobits per second to megabits per second. The true 4G can do megabits, a gigabit per second. So in 5G, we would expect 10 gig per second, right? Maybe even 100 gig per second. People don't talk about this, but if we follow the trend, that's really what we want. And the same will happen with the number of devices we can connect. So um, now in 4G, we can connect 15,000 devices to an e node B, to a base station. So 5G would love to have you know, 10 times more, 300,000. That's what we want to do. And latency hopefully will go down by an order of magnitude. So hopefully we'll reach a millisecond uh, over the air latency. We'll see how far the designs can push it. What is driving the need for virtualization in the network? So virtualization really is because you want flexibility. So today we have so many different needs and I talked about, you know, this heterogeneity of the infrastructure. You know, we have macro cells, micro cells. We have trusted environments, untrusted environments. We have, you know, decoupled up and down links in the future. We have decoupled uh, data planes and uh, control planes. So suddenly we end up with a system which has so many degrees of freedom. Now, if you hard code that system in, into some hardware, you actually can't modify that. You can't optimize it. So we need to softwareize infrastructure. And one concept we borrow there from the computing world well, is to virtualize functions. We put functions together, virtualize them, place them where we want. And that gives us the flexibility to do what we want. If you need a slicing architecture end-to-end -to, -end to go from point A to B, use your virtualized infrastructure. If you need something to connect uh, hundreds of thousands, a million of devices, well, voila, we got the virtualized infrastructures there. So it is all about flexibility. How do you see Keysight's ability to deliver end-to-end -end insights will help to address some of the key challenges that the 5G industry is facing? So that's a good question because uh, you know the 5G architecture has in essence flattened. It's become almost like the internet. It means that insights only at the edge uh, are very valuable but they're not giving the full picture of your mobile network, right? So therefore Keysight probably over the next years needs to develop capabilities to look beyond the, uh, the radio and the access network, possibly in the core network. And it's, it's not too far because we've virtualized it. In fact, many of these functions will be sitting together on the same piece of hardware. So Keysight has an opportunity here, and uh, you know I call it a policing as a service. So literally, you put you know your anchor points in the network, and since they're virtual, it doesn't really matter you know how you instantiate that. And you look on the end-to-end -end performance of the network. You can maybe even virtualize measurements. So you could have third parties have access to the measurements in the network. You could uh, monetize on that. So again, the uh, softwareization of uh, 5G gives everybody an opportunity, including Keysight.